Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to solve the void cube. Now the void cube is a very easy puzzle, basically like the 3x3, three three, except with, you know, no center. You can turn it with your finger in there. So yeah, so what you need to know is you need to know how to solve a 3x3, three three, and I guess you need to know a little bit PLL, a little bit PLL. But not that much. So, um, the quality of this puzzle, I'm just going to say right now, it's not a review, it's a solve, a how to solve video. So, I'm just going to say that the quality is not good. So, if I start turning like I can't cut corners really well, yeah, that's probably why, because this cube sucks. So, I'm going to get on to the mixing. Alright, now, you know, the first step of solving the Rubik's Cube is the cross, right? So you solve the cross, but there's no center to tell you where to solve it. So you take your Rubik's Cube for beginners. Like when I first started, I used my Rubik's Cube. You first take your Rubik's Cube and hold it in front of you. you pick a side, so I'm closing my eyes right now and picking red. Now I'm just going to solve a red side, which is anywhere. Because since there's no center, you can choose your center. So red, and this is green, so green. So you know yellow has to be here. So blue. Hold on. There is no yellow on this cube. So I'm just going to do the color scheme of what I have right now. So that's what I would do. Pick, Find your center, what you want to start out with, and then check out which edge, where the edges need to be oriented. So I got my edges oriented. Now I'm going to check if they're oriented right. Obviously they're not because this corner color needs to go here and this blue needs to go here. So now I need to switch these and switch these. So um this is pretty self explanatory. I'm not gonna go over much because you should know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So I made the cross. Now you put um now you solve your corners, obviously. So yeah, you solve your first side now. Now you want to solve the edges to make the second layer. So Alright. So far we have gone over how to solve the first layer, how to make the cross, solve the first layer, and then solve the second layer. Now this, the final layer is always the hardest, for me at least. So, this may be a little tough for you. Oh, let me change my light a little bit. This may be the hard part for you. So, imagine this is a yellow dot. A yellow dot, so. And then, so you have an L. So imagine there's a yellow dot right here. So, yellow, so L. So you got an L case, like right here. So, front right up right inverted up and front inverted and now you got the line and now do it one more time now you got the cross and now what would you want to do is now you want to line the middles like you usually would so these two are lined up so so these two are lined up put one away from you put one in your right hand This is yellow, so just making sure. So you line your middles back. Now you solve your corners. Now, the other step was to orient the corners, right? To orient the corners where they would all go the same way. Basically like a Rubik's Cube, you use the algorithm to make the corners orient themselves so now I got this so I'm sorry my camera ran out of battery so I was going on to it now like I was saying about to orient the corners you use the algorithm to orient the corners You would do the same thing and then do the right inverted down or right down to solve the cube. 
But this one, this cube is different. It has parity. It, these two corners are switched. So in order to switch these corners, you need to do an algorithm just to switch these two. But in switching these corners, you have to switch these edges. So the algorithm will switch these corners and switch these edges. A T permutation. So top face is solved. Hold it where the two corners are in front of you and do front prime. Wait, hold on. Before I do this, I forgot to say something. The algorithm will... I already said this, but I want to show you an example. This is what it will do. These corners will switch. And these corners will... These edges will switch. See, these got switched. So, I will not be saying it out loud because I do not know how to say it. So, I will be editing the video and showing the algorithm above while I'm doing it. So... See, it switched these, it switched these two edges, it swapped the edges, and it swapped the corners. So the corners are solved, but the edges aren't. So now what you do is you um, you want to move it down now. Just move it down. And then you see this edge that's flipped right here. The edge that is flipped, it's just flipped, that's all you have to do. You see it, it's right in front of you on the top up layer. You rotate the cube this way, so do that. So once you see the flipped edge, you just move it down. Sort of like that, like in X prime, so X prime. So now you see this edge, you do this algorithm. Now all the edges are flipped. Now that's what you want to do. You want all the edges to be flipped. And now you do this. Now you do this algorithm and hold it right in front of you. And the cube will now should be solved. Now the cube should be solved. Now, now, yeah. Now sometimes you'll have this case where these two corners right here, these two corners right here, are swapped. These two corners are swapped instead of these two. You need these two. These are two are swapped. So you go to a corner that's already solved, like this one and perform the algorithm to orient the corners. I'll be showing the algorithm on the screen, so don't worry about it. And now you solve all the corners now. Now you have the uh, corner swapped again this way instead of this way, and then now you can do the same thing as before. And now do edge. Now move the M layer down. X prime. Now do this algorithm. Now do the same algorithm. And now your cube should be solved. Alright, now here's the last case, where you take these two edges, they're usually like this, but now they're swapped this way. So now, when you hold it, you hold one of them in front of you, and the other edge that's right here, in your right hand. So these two, this one's in front of you, and one of them is in your right hand, so. One in front, one in your right hand, so, do this algorithm. And now they're a lot now they're in the line position instead of the diagonal position, so
Now it is solved. Now you should know how to solve the magnificent void cube. Now, since we know how to solve the void cube now, I'm going to show you an example solve. I may run into parity, I may not, I don't know. So I'm not going to use my Rubik's Cube this time because I know how to solve it. So, so example solve, solve the cross basically. Solve corners. Solve edges. Solve cross. And then, you know, align middles. Solve corners. No parity. <sighs> now, void cube solved. No parody. It's about a minute and two, I guess. So, thank you for watching. I hope you know how to solve the void cube now. It's basically just like a 3x3 three three with parody. So, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you know how to solve the void cube. And hope you guys have a great day.